What's going on, my people? Grown man, scam. We're back with this gaming, and we are here on another Division Two news video, and we are talking about the most anticipated, which we are interested to see, clans. Um, clans are coming to Division Two, and they are making a grand appearance. I have to say. With um, with how they implement it, you know, just like in uh, Destiny 2, how the clans impact the uh, progression and that sort of stuff and rewards, it's kind of like the same way here. Was hoping Anthem Alliance would have been the same in terms of uh, in in terms of how how the alliance system would have worked. Like yeah, it gives you the coins and stuff when you uh, when you Get your party, but it's not an actual clan. Um, so yeah, let me say, let's go ahead. Let's talk and let's have a discussion about Division Two and clans. But we have the tools to fight back. You will decide how you will want to achieve your mission, as a team or standing alone. Agents, welcome to the Division Two. So, we have here the Intangent Annex, which is officially from Ubisoft. So if you wanna go check it out, link in the description below. But um, it says, Agents, welcome back to the Intangent Annex, our series of development blogs Detailing all things in Tom Clancy The Division 2. Today, we are here to discuss the options available to you when searching for a clan, when managing one, as well as brief introduction to clan progression and clan quarters. Overview A new feature in Division 2 is available to create, manage clans in game. Clans are designed to make it easy for you to find like minded players to play with. And make clan management a user friendly experience. Clans will focus on building tight knit communities with common goals while consist of up to 50 accounts with up to four characters each. So each account, we all can create four characters and they all contribute to the clan. So we can have 50 people and then we can also have four characters per person which is drum roll 200 individual characters in one clan the ability to create a clan is unlocked early as part of division 2 story progression anyone who was unlocked the feature can create their own but start progressing a clan a total of four members is required so to start basically Reaping the reward, you have to have obviously four members. Obviously, if you're if you're playing Division Two, most likely you're gonna have like way more than four. Um, especially for myself, I got at least like 25, 26 people um, in a in a PlayStation group already. So that's like half the group, half of half of a clan. Um, so yeah, so clan members can keep themselves informed through the clan feed. Keeping you up to date with the clan activities progression, the ability to leave messages on the feed will enable members to easily stay in touch with each other and it also allows for leadership to pin important messages in order to coordinate events. Just like if y'all like, hey, y'all want to do a raid tonight? We're doing a raid, raid's coming out, we're doing a raid, then we put pin that. Everyone can see that, everyone knows when the raid's going live and when we're doing it and when we're popping it, right? So, just like in Destiny 2. It's a shame we don't have a companion, but I guess it makes it more uh, more just game focused rather than you have to have your phone and have your because uh, you, know, you can do the majority of stuff in game. Um, in addition, each clan will have access to two voice channels, um, up to twenty five members each, allowing you to socialize with each other at all times, regardless where in game you are, what activity you're currently doing. 
Um, so that's just pretty cool. I guess you can be, you know, talking to like 25 different other people talking about, hey, which all doing, you know what I mean? Just just having a general chat. That's cool, I guess. It's, you know. Shame, same, same PlayStation group don't hold 25 people though. So. Joining the clan. When searching for a clan, you'll be presented with a number of options enabling you to find a clan that is best suits your particular needs for play style. So obviously, for example, activities like the primary focus PVE or PVP or both. Most activity times, the time of day where the clan is active. Atmosphere, the general atmosphere, like would you like a relaxed group, you know, uh, easygoing clan, a focused uh, clan, you know, a highly PVP clan or a clan that's like more methodical. They like, to, you know, like people that play Ghost Recon, they like to be all like, you know, on the head to like, yeah, go left, yeah, go right. Like in the old school days. Um, might require, if the clan requires mic, uh, probably if you do, if you want a clan, you would require people to have a mic, but I guess it might not, uh, might not be necessary if, cause if, you know, just because it is nice to have people that just, you know, play the game, they might not want to be in a group, but they just want to be in a clan and benefit from the bonuses. It helps everybody at the end of the day. Language, what well, language y'all speaking? English, French, Spanish, you know, Mexican, uh, Puerto Rican, whatever. And then the region of the grill, grill. I said, I said, grill, grill. The geol geographical. I can't even say that word. Geographical location of the clan. So you know, um, North America, South America, UK, London, whatever um, city you're from or um, area. So this is it here. If you just zoom in, um, I guess we have the clan, the feeds, the weekly caches, the clan projects here um and then obviously how many people in the clan obviously messages and that sort of stuff then we have here creating and managing the clan this is for all you um managers out here creating and managing the clan one of the first steps when creating a clan is design your insignia which will serve as a visual representation of your clan the division two will design your Design your signature will be better to choose from selection of icons, background, borders, types to create your own unique design. So basically like Division 2, I mean Division 2, Destiny 2, how you could like, you you couldn't create a clan, but they had as some presets and stuff that you could like layers and, um, you know, make cool designs out of what they gave you. And then next you need a name, a new found and creation, a clan name between 4 to 15 letters long. And a clan tag, which will be visible to all players, you know, like like Boom Boom Room or something like that, or GW Wave, um, you know, some some little uh, some short suite that everyone could just represent you by. Okay, that's the that's the uh, that's the Boom Boom Clan right there. I see them all the time in the raid, or I see them all the time in PvP. Um, that's how you can identify certain clans and their their level of players. Um, so yeah. And then we go finding each clan can can set their preferred privacy level, you know, consisting of three district levels open. You know, anyone can see it, anyone can join. Invite only. Search pool but requires an application to be sent and reviewed by the clan, which is usually what I had in Destiny. You had to you had to be invited to join. Um, and then private obviously clan is not searchable, can only be joined through invites sent by the leaderships. Clan members uh, organize organizing uh, four ranks. We got four ranks here. We got the commander or the leader, um, which will obviously be myself. Cause I usually create clans um, for whatever games I'm playing, like Battlefield and all that. Uh, lieutenant, you obviously got your your, your lieutenants, the ones that can see the uh, see and review applications, send invites, that sort of thing, um, and allow invites basically. Then we got the agent, establish the clan member, able to invite potential recruits to the clan. Then we got recruits, recruit is a new member of the clan with limited access to administrative clan functionality. You know what I mean? So if you just start now and you want to give him a trial and you just leave him as a recruit, if you don't like him, get, get, get him out of here. And then when reviewing an application, as a commander or lieutenant, you'll be able to inspect the application's character, including their gear, in order you to quickly make an informed decision, that is pretty cool. For you to get an invite, uh, and you can instantly just go see who who's inviting 
and you can go if we can if it shows it here we can go and let you see okay this is a clan level you know this is a this is uh the level um project whatever and then we can see the tiers and all that sort of thing the upgrades that they're going through and the clan um so yeah so obviously you get additional signatures when leveling up the clan which is pretty cool um, obviously it shows you how much XP the clan needs as a whole so and that's obviously the one way searching for clans obviously you can time the day and that sort of stuff so if we go on our head clan progression in-game actions taken by members yielding experience points will also yield CPX P, clan XP, um, which is a new form of experience in Division 2. Earning um, clan experience will level your clan, earning earning you and your friend additional benefits for each level of your clan's journey up to level 30. As well as unlocking additional customization options for your signatures, showcase your clan's veterancy. So, this is not just like, oh yeah, I'm just, you know, we just getting caches and getting uh, weapons and stuff like that. It's also for your clan to show how well they're doing within that season, if they're having seasons with the clan. And how well they're doing within the, the clan themselves and how and how they compare to other clans. So if you got a maxed out clan, obviously you're going to be getting more signatures, more um, caches. And just having a more veteran veteran look to your to your clan. That's someone else that has four people in it, two people, six people, whatever. You know, so it's always better to have more or max out your clan. Um, clans will collectively work towards common goals in Division Two in the shape of weekly projects and upgrade clan caches. Both yielding rewards for all members upon completion. The weekly clan cache requires a weekly um, clan XP goal to be reached within re reached with additional stretch goals. There are three tiers of rewards. We got bronze, silver, and gold. Reaching bronze tier will unlock guaranteed rewards, while reaching the silver tiers and gold tiers will further improve week's rewards each time. So if you're going up and you're going through, you, you get bronze, you get gold. At the end of that week, you maybe have maybe five, six caches, depending on what, you know, you might get some dope, like, uh, I don't know, tattoo or something to show that you are, that your clan is dope, that sort of stuff. Um, clan projects are weekly tasks that grant boost to clan XP upon completion, each focusing on a particular aspect of the game, like raids, PvP, PvE, um, that sort of stuff. If a clan manages to complete all weekly parties, the clan will receive an additional significant amount of um, clan XP. So, clan quarters, last one. The east wing of the White House will serve as your clan's home, providing you with a space to socialize and regroup. Here, you will find your clan status to collect your weekly rewards, as well as clan vendor, a unique vendor available only in the east wing, as a natural part of clan's level progression. The quality of the items offered by the clan vendor will improve certain levels. Um, certain levels also unlock the ability to purchase unique cosmetic headgear, like uh, face masks are coming back. So, if you did like that in Division 1, face masks are confirmed. That's probably where you're going to get them. And it could be a dope way to show your clan a signature and that sort of stuff. Um, so, obviously, you're getting unique headgear. Featuring your signature enabling you to represent your clan wherever you go. You know, like hats and masks and that sort of stuff. So that, that so it might just be purely cosmetic, because it says the vendor offer, um, the vendor offers quality of, of items offered by the vendor. Certain levels will be able to purchase you. So this says, said certain levels. So not every level is a cosmetic thing that you can buy. Um, for the vendor, you never know. It could be a weapon. It could be um, you know, a weapon. Or, 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 or like a skin or something like that. We don't, we're not as sure as yet. But the clan course will showcase your clan's top three weekly um, contributors. You know, if you're playing the game each week, every day, getting the XP, and you know, it's going to show that this 
free people are doing the most for the clan. Giving recognition to the most dedicated members of you and accomplishments. There is more to discover in the clan quarters that you will have to discover yourselves at release. So, if you did want to go check this out, link in the description. Um, so yeah, you check that out. That being said, this is Girl Man's Gaming. It's everything to do with clans. Well, not everything, but there's more to discover at launch. And we'll find that out. On March the 15th. Not long, not long away, people. Not long away. With that being said, it's Girl Man's Gaming. I hope you found this informative. If you did, smack that like button. And I'll see y'all on next video. Peace. <laughs>